Now the question here is the given instruments work on all of the following principles except the options are cavitation, acoustic streaming, vibration and then acoustic turbulence. So first of all we will have to identify the instrument and this is nothing but your piezoelectric unit. This is piezoelectric unit. You can find the same image in your cadenza right. Now uh, what is piezoelectric unit? Basically, it is an ultrasonic instrument. Okay. So, before I go ahead in the detail of this, I should tell you about the sonic and ultrasonic instruments, the basic uh, powered instruments which are used in periodontology. So, the powered instruments can be sonic as well as the ultrasonic. In the ultrasonic, we have two units. One is magnetostrictive type of unit and then we have the piezoelectric unit. So, I will be telling the differences. For, uh, first of all, let us see a little bit about the sonic uh, instruments. So, basically in periodontology, we will be using the sonic scalar tips. Okay. So, these are generally large in diameter and universal in design. Large in diameter and these are generally universal. Okay. They are not specific but universal in design. And the instrument are generally adapted to all the tooth surface. That's why these are universal. And the tip here has orbital type of vibrating action. So basically, uh, sonic and ultrasonic instruments work on the vibration, right? So here we can say the vibration here will be basically orbital type. And if we just try to understand the vibration range, that is around 2000 to 6500 cycles per second okay so these are the important information about the sonic instrument now coming to the ultrasonic instrument we have two types and this is very important so uh, first of all we'll see the magnetostrictive instrument and in this they generally ask the pattern of vibration of the tip so here the pattern of vibration is basically elliptical the pattern of vibration is elliptical and in this basically there are four active sites they have four active sites and the range will be same the ultrasonic instrument both uh, the piezoelectric and magnetostrictive will be having a range of around 18000 to 50000 cycles per second okay now coming to the piezoelectric uh, the one which uh, we have seen in the question also. So, the pattern of vibration of the tip is linear. Okay. So, there will be linear pattern of vibration or we can say to and fro or back or forth. Back and forth. The second thing, there are only two sides which are active. So, that is the basic difference between the magnetostrictive and piezo in this two active sides of the instruments or the scalar tips are used two active sites and the frequency will be same that is 18,000 to 50,000 cycles per second. Now you can remember this uh, the important information by a mnemonic if you can remember it uh, that is me PLT. M is the magnetostrictive, T e is your elliptical and that will be all side movement. It will be moving all these side. Okay. Then we have piezoelectric. L is your linear motion. And the two side movement is available. Two side movement. So this is a basic introduction about the type of the power instrument. Okay. Now coming back to the question here the piezoelectric unit basically what happens in this the piezoelectric unit activates the coolant okay so this piezoelectric unit will be activating by the linear motion of course so it will be activating the coolant that will be water here and this water gives three basic physiological effects three basic physiological effects the one is your acoustic streaming 
So what is acoustic steaming? Actually when the vibration occurs or the activation of the coolant occurs, there will be a unidirectional fluid flow okay that is known as a steam and that is produced by ultrasonic waves okay so basically ultrasonic waves will be producing a unidirectional flow of water now this acoustic streaming will be changing into a turbulence okay so whenever there will be acceleration of this particular coolant due to the acceleration there will be a swirling effect that leads to the turbulence and that is known as the acoustic turbulence that is due to the acceleration of this coolant now soon this turbulence starts creating certain bubbles okay so uh, whenever uh, turbulence will be there that means that is not a linear flow for example uh, for sure and that is the reason that that will be uh, that will start creating certain bubbles in the water these bubbles will go to the uh, biofilm and that will be disrupting the biofilm okay so there will be the third form that is your cavitation now cavitation is nothing due to this is cavitation and this is basically formation of the bubbles in the water due to the uh, turbulence okay and that is going to disrupt your biofilm that is present on the surface of the roots or tip, right so uh, these are the various effects or we can sometimes call these as the principles on which the ultrasonic instruments works okay so this piezo uh, electric unit of course work on the acoustic steaming and these are the effects on water okay these are the physiological effects on water then acoustic turbulence and the cavitation so the one which is excluded here is vibration so answer to this question will be vibration so i'll just show you the important figures here so if you get an image based question based on the uh, type of ultrasonic instrument so you can identify these and generally in exam they'll be giving the questions from uh, the images from Carenza only so you can just go through all the image, important images so here you can see this is the magnetostrictive ultrasonic device and this is your piezoelectric ultrasonic device we have already discussed there are four active points or active sites uh, on which the working side of the magnetostrictive tip works so this is your magnetostrictive tip right and here you can see the point of the tip this is the first working surface then you will see these are the lateral surfaces this is the second lateral surface then you will see the back surface okay this is the back surface now this is the third working surface and if you see this concavity this is the concavity that will be your second concave that is your front surface so basically there will be lateral sides there will be a point there will be a convex surface and a concave surface and these are the four working sides of the magnetostrictive tip now here you can see the working sides of a piezoelectric tip as well these are the lateral areas and this is the tip which is going to function in this particular case so if we go back to the question here will be easy uh, will be easily uh, excluding out the three options and the answer will be vibration for this question